So square root 2. It's a third. You're copying it down. So it's a number under a square root that can't be simplified. So you could turn square root 4 into 2, two which is a rational number. Yes? You remember rational versus irrational? Yep. All that stuff. What about reciprocal? Ether? So it's the fraction flipped. Yep. So if we have a fraction like that, what do we need to do? We need to multiply both the top and the bottom by square root 2 because mathematicians don't like thirds on the bottom of a fraction for some reason. So then it becomes square root 2 over 2. Micah. Yeah, root 3 is the long side opposite the big angle. Very good. Someone else, the other special triangle. Um, the angles are both 45 degrees, I think. Yeah, 45 plus 45 plus 90 is 180. Very good. And what's the other, the sides? Like 1, 1 and something else. 1, 1 and square root 2. Okay, so we've got some thirds on our special triangles. Okay, so if I said cos 30 degrees, what would we do? We would use so ka toa. So ka is adjacent over hypotenuse. The adjacent of 30 is square root 3. Okay, thus we have the exact value of cos 30 degrees. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So we've got the opposite is 1 over square root 2. But what did I just tell you? If you have a square root on the bottom, you have to uh, multiply by square root 2 on the top and bottom. So we will get one point as well if we don't multiply by square root. You will lose a mark, yes. It's 360 degrees, yes. What did you say? I said pi e. Circumference equals pi times diameter. So there's relationship between the di diameter of a circle and the circumference of a circle. Okay, so now imagine if the circle's radius was 1. What is the circumference now? 2 pi. So if I go halfway around the circle, how far have I travelled? Pi. Okay, so there's this thing called radians. Radians is when we express an angle in terms of pi. So you could have an angle that's 2 pi. How many degrees is that? It's 360 degrees. So for every pi that you see, you can just substitute in 180. Okay? So what would 30 degrees be in terms of pi? Yep, so 180 divided by 6, or pi over 6. Does that make sense? So you can redraw the special triangles in terms of radians. Pi over 3, pi over 6. And this one would be pi over 4 is opposite over hypotenuse. So the opposite of this one is square root 3 over the hypotenuse, which is 2. So that's the same as 
in degrees, sine, pi over 3, sine, sine 60. 60. Everyone got it? Yep. So sine 60 or sine pi over 3 equals square root 3 over 2. Do we need to do anything with that? Or is that it? The third's not on the bottom, so we just, it's okay? Yeah? How did you know that? 225 minus 180. Yep, so we want to find this little angle in here. Does that make sense to everyone? Yeah. All right, and the other thing we need to do is figure out if it's positive or negative. So does everyone remember the acronym? All stations to central. Okay, so if it's sine, it's going to be negative, okay? So sine 225 is the same as negative sine 45, which is, everyone remember it? We just did it. Root 2 over 2. Does that make sense? Yeah, because sine negative 45 is there. Does that make sense? Which is the same as sine 315. Does that make sense? Yes. Sine 315 equals sine negative 45. They're different, so don't get mixed around. Copy that down, what I just circled. Um, so what's the deal with these? Um, the so this is just telling us what things are positive and what things are negative. Does that make sense? Oh, okay. Yeah. So all the things in quadrant one are positive. Only sine is positive in quadrant two. So if you have 10, 145, it's negative answer. Yeah. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? If you've got a, a cos or sine in here, so cos 225 or sine 225, the answer is negative. You, you get the gist? Yeah. Yep. You will recap this in methods. So the first one and the second one are relatively easy, hopefully. So cos 270, we're going round the circle, we stop here. So the x-axis is the cos axis. So what's the value on the x-axis if the angle stops there? Zero. That makes sense. If you're looking at sine 270, it's negative 1. So that's the value on the y axis. Sine 0 degrees. So what's the value on the y axis for 0 degrees? Zero. So we always start our angle at the which axis? Positive. Positive x, and we go what direction is that? Anti clockwise. Okay? Is there any questions about what I did for the first two? Does this come back to you from grade 10? Yeah? What about sine 300? Now we're getting a bit harder. So it's in the fourth quadrant. So we've got 90, 180, 
What's this? 270. 270, so going over 270 by how much? 30 degrees. And it's all stations to central, so it's negative sine 30. Does that make sense? How I got that? The negative and the 30 degrees, yeah? And now we just use the special triangle to draw the special triangle. Sine 30 degrees. One over, oh yeah, one over two. So you should, go, should have got negative a half. Yep. Tan 60. Because it's in the fourth, our uh, third quadrant, it's positive. So then you had special triangle again. Tan is opposite over adjacent. Square root 2 over 2. Negative tan 30. Does that make sense? And if we look back to the special triangle, one over square root three, or negative, sorry, one over square root three, and we have to get the square root three off the bottom, so it becomes negative square root three over three. Very good.